I am Dr. Joan Wagner and I am part of the RQHR Synergy Project. I am Lois Berry and I'm a member of the research team for the Synergy Project. My name is Sonia Udod. I'm with the College of Nursing at the University of Manitoba. My role in this project is co-principal investigator. Synergy uh, refers to the, when the combined output of two or more is greater than the sum of separate individual outputs. So that's the definition of the word synergy itself. In this particular project, we're referring to a nursing professional practice model. A professional practice models give nurses control over activities and responsibilities directly related to nursing practice. Nurses determine what their work constitute as well as the numbers and competencies of support personnel assisting them in the delivery of patient care. Nurses should have control over structuring their practice and their practice teams. Work environments that support nurse autonomy unit-level decision-making and collaborative relationships are associated with decreased nurse emotional exhaustion and increased trust in nursing management. Today we have a variety of different health professionals working in the emergency department. Some are registered nurses, some are LPNs, and ensuring that the needs of the patients are aligned with the nurses that best meet their needs. That's really about what Synergy is about. Nurses face undue moral distress due to inability to provide safe quality care. So it's not just you've come in with a broken leg, we're going to send you off to x-ray, we're going to make sure you see the specialist and we're going to send you home. It's can you go home? Do you have a home that you can even uh, get into? Do you have anyone there who can help you? Who's going to do your grocery shopping? Who's going to do those kinds of things? Do you have those kinds of resources? Do you have the capacity to look for those resources if you don't have them. Do you have the kinds of supports? Um, and do you have the cognitive abilities? Perhaps you've got some cognitive impairment and even though you've got people around you who can provide you with those services, uh, maybe you're not safe to, to live on your own. And those are all things that nurses working in an emergency department have to look at in addition to the fact that you broke your leg. Some of the nurses and participants that we've interviewed so far have felt that perhaps they need to do something better. And my sense is that they're excellent nurses. They're doing everything they can. They know patients, especially if they've been in the ER for a number of years. What our task is, is to, is to create the conditions for them so that they can do their work because they know what they're doing and they know what to do in a way that we don't because we've been removed from it. So our job is to focus on those things in the environment that will facilitate their ability. If we refer back to Hamilton Health Services, we find there's a reduction in staff over time because when there's use of the Synergy tool. In addition, we found the nurses were much more engaged with the patient. The whole range of, of uh, resilience and capability that a patient has and the kinds of supports that they have really impact the kind of nursing care that's required. And the tools that we have had in the past haven't taken into account those things. So Synergy is, an, is attempting to actually uh, bring those things to the table and make them visible, not only to the nurses themselves, but to decision makers in terms of staffing. The Saskatchewan Ministry of Health has a, an objective to reduce the emergency wait time by 60%. They also have the objective to improve patient flow, thereby reducing length of stay in the emergency department. We can prove that we're making a difference with the Synergy Project, then we take that Synergy Project to emergency departments across Saskatchewan because RQHR is not the only emergency department in Saskatchewan that is experiencing problems with patient turnover. We're trying to understand what their work was like before Synergy was implemented and what it's like now, what some of the challenges are, what's going well, and perhaps how we can improve it and help them use it in a way that's going to be meaningful for the nurses and have good patient outcomes. And this is why Synergy, Synergy. Synergy is important. Synergy.